Yeah. I got a question. Yeah, side hole tip number 900. Are you loyal? This is a shout out to you, little Jimmy. Because I was loyal to your punk ass and you just played me so motherfucking close. I don't even care no more. I got your name tattooed right here on me till the casket drop. We getting that shit covered the fuck up. The casket didn't drop, nigga. Um, back to what the fuck I was saying. Were you a loyal side hoe? Was the nigga ungrateful? Did he play you close? Did you take care of his retarded ass? The motherfucker claim he grown, but he really like 10. Yep, I'm talking about your motherfucking ass, and I'm going to put this on national everything. Was you loyal enough where the motherfucker couldn't keep his motherfucking hands out the trash, so to speak, meaning jail, to where you kept the phone calls up for him, and his stingy ass barely could send mail, or he bitched about you not answering the phone, worried about you fucking somebody else while you on the outside, stressed the fuck out about him on the inside. Was you loyal? Did you take care of him? Did you make sure he didn't want for nothing the entire time he was locked up? Are you accepting them expensive ass phone calls? Are you sending him them ratchet ass ramen noodle food packs so his stupid ass can eat? And he's still cussing you out on the phone? Bitch, hang up on him. You paying for it. I am giving you some lovely side hope advice here. Find you somebody out on the street that you don't mind fucking and have him pay for your nigga that's locked up. I did it. And the ungrateful bastard had the audacity to fight the motherfucker. I was pissed off because he didn't shoot it. I'm keeping it real, y'all. For real. How you gonna get mad at the hand that fed your ass for three years? Three. I dated you for five. Three, you spent locked down. The nerve of you. And I took care of your kids. The least your stupid, ugly, short, retarded, hot tamale ass could have said was thank you. You ugly porch monkey. I hope all your hair fall out on top, nigga, and you end up with side piece ponytails. Bitch, I said it. Broke my goddamn fingers, you ugly porch monkey. Got the nerve to get mad at me because I was loyal. I ain't even mad though. I'm not. I'm mad I got this tattoo on my motherfucking chest and his retarded ass talking about I got your picture tattooed on me and then gonna lie and tell me that he did it and then say you ain't gonna get mad at me. I didn't get the tattoo. I chickened out. Nigga, I knew you was a whole ass motherfucker when I fucked with you. I only liked you because you was cute. And you had good hair that you never brushed. So it. I didn't care how your hustle hand was. I ain't care how your dick game was. Your brain wasn't shit. Cause anything that came out your mouthpiece sounded like the shit you was thinking. It sounded good in your head, but it came out your mouth backwards just like you. Your priorities is fucked up. And you got the gall to say, I'm the ungrateful bitch. What you looking for me for? Please watch my videos. You can see me as much as possible that way. Punch me as much as you want through the phone, nigga. Because if when you do find me, you better have your gun in hand to shoot me, nigga. Quit looking for me. You will never find my black ass. Even if I am in the town near you, I will make sure of it. Your family know where I live at right now. I'm going to tell your stupid ass because they don't want me to fuck you up. That's why they're keeping you away from me. Duh. And I actually like you a lot. Your name's tattooed on my body. Not even my kid's name is on my body. You fucked up. I was loyal and you fucked up. And now the well done ran dry. You is scraping the bottom of that motherfucker with that bucket, the fucking bucket that I kicked over yesterday. If the hose is loyal and you taking care of an ungrateful motherfucker that's locked up and he disrespecting you over the phone, telling you what you better do. Let me tell you something. You the one in control. Don't let that hoe ass motherfucker talk crazy to you while he locked up. His bitch ass is locked up. You the smart one, bitch. You ain't in jail. He the slave. 
He the one in chains. He the one got to answer the master correction officer, not you. You ain't got that number. So this what you tell him. Fuck you, nigga. Your mama should have beat your ass mo. Don't get out and get fucked up by me, your new mammy. Your new mammy. You ain't going to get everything if I'm giving you pussy, stupid. Now, I ain't got to fuck you and give you the world. But if you're looking for somebody to be your mama, to cook and clean for you, and to do your laundry, you're a grown whole ass man. That is what the fuck you're here for, to do it for yourself. We are supposed to skip to the loo, my darling, and enjoy life together. Yeah. Loyal bitches, hi. Shout out to all of you bitches who standing by that motherfucker who's locked up who ain't gonna like your ass when you get when he get out because he mad because he worried about you fucking somebody else. No matter how much you tell him the truth that you're not, even if you are. But if you're not, because I know half the time I wasn't. Last two years I didn't. But I kept it real with him. And when I did, he did get home. This is a message for you. When you did get home, that whole ass nigga that you sent to my house, that you claimed that you didn't know nothing about, first of all, I knew it was a setup because the stupid ass looked on the wall to see if your picture was up there and said, yep, I got the right house. I fucked him. I sure did. And then sent the message back to him with you. Now he fucked up because he don't know why I ain't talking to him. Because of you. Don't you ever in your whole ass life think you tricking the trick, nigga. I am the trick. I knew what was going on for what happened. Loyal chicks again back to y'all. If you are loyal to your man and he's still disrespecting you, leave his monka ass a dear giant letter and send it to the penitentiary unmotherfucking addressed. Meaning don't put no return address on it. That means he's fired. Dear dumbass. Yes, you. If you're reading this letter, that means I done moved the fuck on. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of you disrespecting me as the queen that I am, and I am sick of it. And guess what? I have moved on, packed your shit, and sent it to your mama. Since they won't accept your shit there in the mail, at the county, the prison, the fed, wherever the fuck you are, I put your shit in storage, and now you get to fund the bill. If it gets thrown out before your ass get out, yo bad. Sincerely, I don't give a fuck. And that's how you sign it, even seal it with a kiss to let his ass know you did give a fuck once upon a time. Title tip 900. Stay loyal to yourself, not that nigga. He got to be loyal to you. You the female, you the queen, you run the board. Play chess sometimes, you'll learn something. Side hoe out.